but this is by far the easiest way to get a mailbox set up and not have to worry about it um, you know tipping over or rotting out or being crooked hey everyone this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel all right today I'm going to cover a mailbox post and mailbox now this is a no dig installation that's a really key thing to it if you put a mailbox post in before you know you really had to dig down at least two feet if not more you might use concrete to set it you might use some of that new foam stuff to set it you might try to just go it alone and keep it in the dirt but you'll know that they'll end up breaking or rotting and whatnot I've covered another um, no dig solution for a mailbox and that was like a metal screw in thing and so Simplay3 actually contacted me and said hey we have another product here that is also no dig and it's even easier to set up than my past no dig one so I want to show it to you I'll put it together real fast and we'll talk about what the features are of it the only thing you need in addition to the post is you do need any kind of standard mailbox the post does not come in the mailbox by default you have to add it um, and then you need your own sand so you need about 70 pounds of sand this is two 50 pound bags I think they said about 70 pounds is what fits into the base of it besides that I got a, um, a screwdriver and some pliers it should be pretty quick and easy to put together let's have at it one of the things I really like about it is that this is made in America engineered here the customer service is out of Ohio so that's uh, something I really like is supporting American made and owned company alright so I'm actually quite surprised here in the instruction pack comes a funnel for the sand you know that's really certainly not required but that is a nice little addition there that they include the funnel for you to help with pouring the sand in alright so here are the instructions you can see it goes through it tells you the USPS standard is 41 to 45 inches of height off of the road surface and this is adjustable to meet that so um, they they give you that information and they tell you you know how to snap it together and put the sand in so I'm gonna follow that right now and put it together That seems about right, 70 pounds is about what I put in there. Now we just put on these little plastic claps. Alright, there we go. It is all done. It took about 10 minutes. It was very quite easy. Probably the thing that took the longest was just pouring the sand in. I actually did not make a mess. Um, the key there is to get dry sand. Don't go to your home um, home uh, improvement store and get wet sand that's sitting outside or something. Make sure it's dry and it pours right in that funnel without a problem. And um, then I just had a couple screws to put in. That's where that power screw gun does really help. I would say it's kind of a required thing to to uh, to get it done without having your your wrist be tired of um, you know putting the screws in through the plastic. 
but very quick, very easy. You know, this guy is um, very stable. It can handle all the winds. It has about, like I said, 70 pounds of sand in there. So obviously, if you really push hard on it, you can flip it over, but it is going to be very stable there with any kind of wind and that kind of stuff. And then what's nice about it is that you can relocate it or move it if you really wanted to or needed to. And then a note on this plastic, you know, this is the same stuff, actually the owner, I think of American Home, um, the parent company that, the one of his pre previous businesses was um, Little Tykes. So you see like the Little Tykes outdoor playground stuff or the Little Tykes uh, sandboxes, that kind of stuff. This is the same process and this stuff is made to handle outdoor um, every day, all day long. So, you know, I have confidence it's going to stay um, looking good. It's not going to get dry and crack and break. This stuff will last a long time. So, you know, for you guys, you might have a flower bed or, um, you know, landscaping area that this would even tie into. And you might even have this with rocks or flowers up against it really would make the uh, the base kind of um, hidden within the uh, the landscaping there but this is by far the easiest way to get a mailbox set up and not have to worry about it um, you know tipping over or rotting out or being crooked uh, it's definitely very very stable here with pull it open and close this without a problem I would uh, recommend this if you wanted something quick and easy to put up someplace and then if you enjoy this video Give it a thumbs up down below. There are product links in the video description if you want to go buy this uh, from Amazon or direct from them. So check it out and take care.